This is Cannon Palmer School in Seven Kings in North East London. It seems to have much the same sort of litter problem as most schools. But at this school, students and teachers are taking steps to improve the environment and develop a sustainable policy on waste. We were contacted by the London Borough of Redbridge um, environmental officer and he said we were not using our recycling bins, particularly the cans and plastic bottle recycling bins, and that if we didn't start using them, they would take them away. The environmental charity Global Action Plan is working with the school through one of its initiatives, the Action in Schools programme. Action in School is a program where we work with schools on projects such as waste, energy, water and transport and we help them to, over a period of time, look at ways that they can make changes, practical changes in the school that they're going to be able to sustain. Students have different reasons for joining the Action in Schools team. I got involved because I thought there was too much rubbish lying around the floor and I knew it could be recycled, so it's just a waste and I need, thought there needed to be something done about it. I got involved in Action in Schools because um, or people have came to my primary school and showed us pictures of loads of landfill sites and I thought, well, how could, we can't live like this for much longer. I recently moved house and I found out that we had to recycle. So I thought, um, well, I might as well get involved to see what it's about. You're going to have which rubbish. One element of their action plan involves audits file. of the waste produced They're in a single day. The, bag. the bags come from different areas of the school. Weighing and sorting the contents allows the team to identify problem areas and come up with suggestions for improvements. Anything that can be recycled goes into the appropriate recycling bin. A lot of the students we work with are learning about some of the issues in their geography lessons, they're learning about them in their science lessons. I've had students say to me, we know, we've been informed, we now actually need an opportunity for action. So. Action at school does give them that opportunity, empowers the students to make the changes in the school. I try to get my friends encouraged and tell them about it. I explain to them what I've been doing and what we, we sort through the rubbish and how much um, rubbish there is. I tell them that we'll try to improve it by 25%. And I ask them to help. Normally they like kind of laugh, but then they actually do help as well. I think if a group of people try to recycle, then the rest, other people will as well. So it will have a greater impact on clearing the school up and making it better. The drive to reduce waste is paying off. There's been a 25% reduction since the last waste audit was done, and they're hoping to reduce it by a further 20%. It's not just pupils that are creating the change. Everyone in the school is involved to a greater or lesser extent. Well, because I've been reading about it in the paper and obviously working here, there was so much um, and I just couldn't bear to put it in a black bag and then throw it in the bin. Uh, I call it gold dust. <laughs> um, and I just started, I think, a couple of years ago. And because we have the recycling bins anyway, but not a lot was really going in there. Now she collects several bags a day to go in the recycle bins. And that is just me, one cleaner. So, but you can't ask all the other cleaners to do it because it is very time consuming. Dan's office is also a recycling collection point. As well as used printer cartridges, staff and pupils bring in old mobile phones, yellow pages and tetra packs to be sent off for reprocessing or reuse. Large quantities of paper are still used by the school, but the Reprographics department has been trying to find ways to reduce the amount consumed by using paper more efficiently. The partnership with Global Action Plan is also helping the school to look more carefully at water and energy use. Through students and staff, the messages are travelling beyond the school gates. We've stopped using the dishwasher and now washed in the basin because it wastes less water and as well we're getting a shower soon because we've, we realise how much water is wasted by the bath. And mom, for now, my mum washes the car herself instead of going to the garage and getting it washed because it saves water. We're a staff of 120 uh, people, and if they learn a little bit themselves and take that away with them, it's quite a large number of people. 
Um, now at home we've got the recycling box, so we're putting bottles and cans in there. Um, we've got a water butt to reuse the water in, on our garden. Um, we give our clothes to charity shops to reuse them, um, rather than just throwing everything away. Action in schools is far from being just another educational project. It provides opportunities for change, not just in schools, but in their surrounding communities. As part of the programme, some schools have assemblies, they may have a design show where they're inviting members of the community, parents, members of the council, different figures, key figures of the community in to see what they've been doing and to learn from some of the practices that the students have, have come up with. Community action like this is being taken all over the UK. The question is, can small-scale initiatives lead to enough change to ensure a sustainable future?